you know, I've, uh, I'm 55 years old, been packing on weight, getting out of shape. You know, this this is not an easy thing. I've tried this a hundred times, a thousand times. The program should be good. Tyler is uh, an RN, been an RN for about five years. He's just getting into this life coaching training stuff. He wanted uh, some people to start with, and I said, you know, Tyler, I think maybe I've got something for you. If you can whip my fat ass into shape, um, you know, you can whip anyone into shape. Down here in sunny Arizona, Tempe, and uh, just finished up a weekend of implant surgery on those that can't afford it. Dental implants training for uh, the dentist, myself, and uh, and several others. Ten ish, ten ish, maybe I don't know somewhere around there. Nine, and uh, what a blast! So uh, just tune in, watch. Um, these people couldn't afford dental implants. They had just terminal dentition. Their teeth are just all all falling apart. So, so they get screened down here at the New Horizons Dental Center um, in Tempe, and uh, they get scheduled up. And I think between uh, just in our group in the two days, we put in 135 dental implants. Um, I don't know how many 50 ounces or 50 cc's of bone, which is a lot bone uh, grafting material um, man what a blast I mean shout out Justin Moody Mike Frymouth uh, this implant pathway just rocks uh, you know I've taken a lot of continuing ed courses over my 29 years of dentistry and uh, these guys put together a course if you are in the dental field and you want to learn dental implants man this is this is the place to go these guys will teach you everything they'll show you everything and then you'll do everything and uh, man, I was doing some surgery that was just awesome. It was crazy. It was a, it was a blast. And uh, then you know we hang out at night. Uh, you know this whole losing Randy part of it. Uh, you know I made some good choices. Uh, basically low carbs, vegetables, that type of stuff. Uh, I might have added uh, I don't know what kind of vegetable vodka is made of, but I might have added some of that. But uh, it wasn't too bad. We had a good time. And uh, I suppose my advice, uh, anyone, any field, you know, like I say, I'm 29 years into this. I'm 55 years old, and uh, you got to keep pushing yourself. Um, you know, it's, it's easy to get, to get complacent and just sit there and nine to five and do your job. But whatever field you're in, push yourself. Learn, learn how to do the best you can. Learn something new. You know, I was getting kind of bored with it, and. Uh, so about five years ago, I started just uh, dabbling in dental implants, learning, you know, taking some courses, not doing any. And then uh, just in the last year or so, we, you know, really stepped it up and taken a continuum like this and uh, attending a lot of continuing ed. But, uh, you know, don't, uh, man, my partner in my operatory was 67 years old. So, Greg, shout out to you. Man, you rocked. You impressed me. 67 and he decided he wanted you know he wants to push himself he doesn't want to quit quit practicing um but he wants to be able to be the best dentist he can still and uh so he he enrolled him and i we were the geriatric crew apparently um i'm pretty sure everyone else else in there could have been uh that was taking the course could have been uh our children age-wise but uh we, we learned a ton uh, man, the people were awesome. Um, you know, we we had four people basically, no six, something like that. Anyway, and uh, these people were so grateful for what they were getting. Um, you know, they having teeth they couldn't smile or eat with, and at the end of this, they're going to have some implant retained, whether it's over dentures or whatever, whatever. But uh, thousands of dollars worth. Of, of stuff. Shout out to Bio Horizons. Um, these guys, that's, that, that's a dental implant company, and they donate all the, the supplies, the dental implant supplies. Uh, shout out to Henry Shine, who uh, really helps 
and has helped this clinic get up and going. Um, so Henry Shane's a dental supply company. Um, it was pretty fun. So anyway, just watch it, learn. You know, you're gonna see some stuff if you're a little queasy at the uh, at the sight of blood. Uh, John, maybe this is a good time to put a warning. If you are queasy at the sight of blood, you might want to just kind of fast forward a couple spots. But uh, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm glad I'm doing it. I can't wait to do more. And uh, so there we go. So this episode of Losing Randy really uh, has nothing to do much with losing Randy as much as it does maybe with finding Randy and finding what he likes to do and, uh, and working on his craft of dentistry. So, hey, tune in. Let me know what you think. Tell me how you're doing. Follow along. Leave comments right down below in that little part where it says comments. Some thumbs up. Those are always good. And uh, John, let her rip. Let's go.
of the styrofoam, it is taking it and it's displacing the bone around it. So it's like creating a reverse vortex, so it's displacing the bone, so you're creating a bone. Now if you want to get like a real nice dome, you would have to add bone and keep pushing it up and keep pushing it, add more bone. probably going to notice that uh, the camera quality and uh, just overall production was far far better this time at our surgery thing because uh, big shout out to John Watts John put your little information right down here somewhere and uh, he had real cameras real mics real everything and uh, so otherwise we just have to spend sending him all these files on Dropbox but uh, this time you get to bring the big the big gun cameras and uh, hey it, it, he did awesome can't wait to see uh, how this all turns out. Can't wait to see what you do for uh, Implant Pathway on, uh, on their videos too. So, all right, big shout out to John Watts.